all of our deeds and may he forgive all of our sins. Amen. Surah Yusuf. There are too many lessons to learn. Let me brush up on a couple and then we move on inshallah ta'ala. But it's going to take a long time for me to leave Surah Yusuf. In the story of Sayyidina Yusuf alayhi salam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us many lessons for those who can ponder. The last ayah of Surah Yusuf, Allah says, لَقَدْ كَانَ فِي قَصَصِهِمْ عِذَرَةٌ لِأُولِي الْأَلْبَابِ I read once this in Urdu, أُمْكَي قِصِّي مَيْ بَرِي عِبْرَتْ سَمَجْ دَارُ كِلِيَيْ لَقَدْ كَانَ فِي قَصَصِهِمْ عِذَرَةٌ لِأُولِي الْأَلْبَابِ Sayyidina Ya'qub alayhi salam, when his sons told him, come, they conspired to take their young Yusuf. He says, قَالَ إِنِّي لَا يَحْزُنُنِي أَنْ تَذْهَبُوا بِهِ So it makes me sad that you take him away from me for the day. And by the way, it was a false perception that Ya'qub alayhi salam, the Prophet of Allah, loved Yusuf more than the rest. That's a false perception, or, or treated him differently than the rest. That was the shaytan. Because Allah says in the Quran, in the beginning of the surah and the end of the surah. In the beginning, And at the end he says, مِنْ بَعْدِ أَنْ نَزَغَ الشَّيْطَانِ بَيْنِي وَبَيْنَ إِخْوَتِهِ Shaytan can come and make something glamorous, something appear differently, something maybe misperceived. So we ask Allah to protect us from that cursed shaytan. Ameen. So he tells them that, that showed his vulnerability. And they, they preyed on that. They basically, yeah, and he took advantage of that. So when they came back at night, They came at night back, returned to their father, crying at Isha time. Right? First lesson. Not everyone that cries is a victim. This is true. Learn. This is buddy. I brought so much that right? So everybody that comes crying doesn't mean that necessarily they're innocent and the other one is guilty. As imams, we deal with this all the time. No offense. So you have always, always, always. When you hear one side, that's one side. This is lessons from the Quran. Sayyidina Dawood alayhi salam was yani, borderline reprimanded by Allah when he heard one side and gave judgment. And then he made tawbah in Surah Sa'd. Once Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know, guided him and gave him the, the correction. Anyhow, which came through Sulaiman alayhi salam, his young son. How amazing how we can learn from different generations. Anyhow, they came back crying after they threw their little brother in the well. And then, Then they brought false blood, killed a chicken or something, put the, sprayed all that blood on it, and then they brought the shirt. Look, we have evidence, Baba. So the father looked. This is why, remember when I gave you a couple of days ago, anyone who conspires, evil, inspiring any type of evil planning, it only comes back to her thumb. Allah says that in the Quran. So they bring the shirt with blood on it, mashallah, evidence, the DNA. <laughs> and then the father looks, looks at them and says, He says, your, your evil desires have, been, have guided you to do something evil. And he says, what? And the, when you read the Mufassirin, they say, he responded basically saying to them, what a nice wolf. Not a single tear on my son's shirt. He took his shirt. Yeah, how, how is my son's blood all over it? Not a single bite mark. Not a single claw mark. Perfect shirt with blood on it. Someone can conspire, plan, and Allah is the best of planners. So, always, Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't you ever rely on your own intelligence, on your own clever ways. 
deceptive ways. May Allah protect us from that. In the same surah, the lady who at the end, after Yusuf paid so many years in jail, she came back. So she can, it's a nafs can, can, can inspire someone to do something bad. So again, lessons to learn. Don't show your vulnerabilities to someone who may misuse it. It doesn't mean don't be vulnerable with your spouse. No, you should be. There are people you should be vulnerable with. Your wife, your husband, you know, these people you should open up to. But if you know someone may do something bad to you, then you try to safeguard yourself from vulnerabilities. Another is not anyone that comes crying automatically means they're innocent. You have to always listen to both sides and also be wise. Don't automatically be worried. Anyone that you experience that, you remember the story of Sayyidina Yusuf Take it easy, relax, listen to both sides. And then anyone who conspires to do something bad, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will have them always be exposed. If not in this dunya, in the akhirah. And lastly, when after everything, and I can't explain all the details right now because of time, Yusuf alayhi salam forgave his siblings and brought his parents and he treated them royally. And today we're reciting in Surah Al Isra. Allah has ordained, has instructed to not worship any but Him and to be extremely kind and beautiful to your parents. If one or both of them become old, don't say oof to them because older people can sometimes behave like a child. No offense. Allah says that the cycle. They'll be weak, they will rely on you, they may need something, they may behave in a very mildly silly manner. When you were silly for 10 years until you became a teenager and beyond. And they were loving every time you're silly and goofy. And they, but when you, they become silly a little bit, suddenly our patience is gone. And don't you ever mistreat them. Say the most beautiful, noble, kind, sweet words to your parents. Say the nicest things Abu Huraira used to call to his mother. Ya Ummah. And then his mother would go, yeah, she, she would respond back to him. And they would both respond back and forth and make dua for each other loudly like this. Show your parents nice ways of kindness, love, support, tenderness. Do it before you no longer can do it in the physical form. You may be able to do sadaqah or umrah on their behalf, but you will not ever be able to kiss their hand again after their you will never be able to kiss their head again after they're gone. Those who think, if you had a parent and lost one, go to that last one before they are gone. Or before we are gone. Those of us who had parents and we buried them, they are no longer there. Take the opportunity to show love to your parents as Yusuf salam showed love to his parents. As Allah instructs us in Surah Al-Isra to show love to our parents. Do that, these are gates to Jannah. By the words of Rasulullah, pathways to Jannah for us. Use that path. Very easy. And they are most worthy of our friendship. So be, be nice to your parents. <coughs> Call your parents, love your parents, say nice things to your parents, and gift to your parents, etc. Is that from Allah? Make dua for your parents.